Mayor Barry Walker is entering his final week in office before Mayor-elect Bill Danielson takes over, but Walker was sure to leave the town with a parting gift. Our Christina Thacker was out at the ribbon-cutting ceremony of Irmo's newest dog park and has the details of this final mayoral act. Take a look. This is my last big hurrah, if you will. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm leaving office next week, but I'm glad that I'm able to get this open today. And this is like a lasting legacy of what Barry Walker did while he was mayor. The mayoral term of Irmo's Barry Walker is coming to an end. In his final days of office, Mayor Walker is leaving the town of Irmo community with a gift. <laughs> it's the town's newest outdoor amenity. 10 acres of land that are now turning into recreational facilities. Coming out of COVID, my whole vision was how do we get people out of the house, back out in the community? And we knew that everybody was concerned about the virus. We knew that people eat vegetables, so we knew that that was crucial as to getting people from the neighborhood to come back out and start being a part of this process. Getting people out of the homes and into the community with gardens, trails, and now a new dog park. When I campaigned for re-election, I knocked on a thousand doors. I think 999 of them had dogs. <laughs> and so I knew that that was a need in the community. And that's why we tried to do is to try to get out, give the things that the people need. The new dog park will feature two sections, one for small dogs and one for large dogs. The park is free to use, but residents must register with the town of Irmo and ensure that their pet meets vaccination requirements. Mayor Walker says that the membership process not only encourages safety, but strengthens the community that the dog park serves. You want to be a part of the dog park, you have to join the committee to get registered to have a dog here. And by doing that, I hope that they will say, well, I want to do more than just bring my dog out. I want to have an obstacle course. So I'll raise the money to put one in. And as the park expects incoming dogs, incoming mayor Bill Danielson will be in office to oversee the facility. Danielson assured people attending the ribbon cutting ceremony that more will come to Irmo than just the dog park. Residents can expect skate park construction by early next year. It's a part of revitalizing New Friars Gate. It's a positive for this neighborhood uh, that used to be a very positive place to be. And now when we add the skate park up there, we're also going to bring quite a bit of um, revenue to our town. Uh, mayor Walker says that his final act as mayor is one he hopes will bring people together, regardless of political affiliations. This will bring people together. And that's what we're talking about in, in America today, is that we're not having that communication. It doesn't matter if you're a Republican dog or a Democratic dog, you know, you're a dog lover. In Columbia, Christina Thacker, WIS News 10. The last day of Mayor Walker's term is set to be next Friday, December 8th. Yeah, that looks like it's going to be a great space. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah my good. dogs would love that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. no doubt about it. Yeah, before too long, I think I'm going to bring my three to the park. Yes. At some point. Yes, they would love it. Yeah, and then, you know, the rest of the family would be at the home asking who let the dogs out. And I'd say it, uh, it was me. It was me. It was Greg. And that's right. <laughs> <laughs> right. It was Greg busted. Yes. Uh, Chief Meteorologist Adam Clark is here uh, with details on our forecast. Adam, what can you say? It's Friday. <laughs> <laughs>